Well, uh, first thing, I think we've uh, used up all our get-out-of-jail cards, so uh, against Italy, you don't want to be in that situation that we were today. Um, but I thought it was a great game of Test Rugby today, uh, really good contest all around the park. A lot of credit's got to go to Wales. I thought their defence today was superb. They hit hard and hit often and worked hard off the ball, uh, which made it a, a fantastic Test match uh, our team, you know, there were three great things for us today. Firstly, our first 20 and last 20. Yeah, our first 20, we were one or two passes away from maybe scoring three tries. And the last 20, we just showed outstanding composure to win that game of rugby. Uh, second thing was our grit. Um, you know, we've now become a team that's hard to beat. You know, even when, you, even when a side beats us, I think they're not going to beat us. And that's what we want to be like. Yeah, we're, we're a gritty team, we've got characters in there that don't know how to get beaten um, and that was evident today. And the last thing was just obviously we want to improve our consistency. You know, as I said, we had a good first 20, great last 20, but the middle 40 was a bit indifferent. So, you know, we've got two weeks now to get ready for Italy. We're looking forward to playing Italy at Twickenham. It'll be nice to get back to, to Twickenham again. Um, and play the Italians who we've never got beaten by. And obviously they're coming off a tough game today, which will make them even more uh, difficult to beat. Um, yeah, I know their coach as well, particularly Brendan Venter, who worked for me at uh, Saracens. I know how he likes to defend, so yeah, we've got to prepare well for that game, and we will. And you've touched on it there, but how much did you learn about the character of this team? Well, it was, you know, at, at stages today it looked like we, we were going to fade out of the game, but we just kept on hanging in there, kept on sticking, sticking in there, you know, people getting off their feet, making tackles, like Courtney Laws today. You know, he's in there, he's, he's like a human ice pack, he's got ice all over him. He made that many carries and that many tackles. Joe Launchbury, same thing. Um, yeah, a lot of good characters in our team and, and players who are still young. You know, we had a young team out there today, which is even more uh, attractive for us going forward. What specific areas do you want to see improvement going ahead? Well, it's all about consistency. You know, the first 20, we were probably just a little bit over-eager in, in attack and we just didn't finish off opportunities out wide. We, we tended to throw long cut-out pass instead of running straight and going through the hands. So those old habits come back every now and then. So just those simple things and our spacing in defence. At times, again, we were just too tight and gave them too much space room on the outside. And it was your first taste of a Wales-England derby here in Cardiff. What did you make of the atmosphere, the occasion? I love it, mate. Fantastic. Well, it's a proper test match, isn't it? You know, you've got fans giving you stick the whole game. Um, great atmosphere. You know, it reminds me a lot of Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. Crowds nice and close to the ground. Fantastic atmosphere. Maybe next time we'll close the roof. It'll be even better. <laughs> so they can close the roof now. Do you think the roof decision made any difference to, to that atmosphere and lessened the intensity, maybe? In all honesty, I cannot believe all the all the all the things that went on this week about the roof. You know, the roof should be open unless, unless the conditions are going to be absolutely terrible because that's how rugby should be played. You know, it's a winter sport. So you're playing the conditions. Any replacements had a big effect again? Do you consider changes starting 15 minutes off? Uh, well, Italy will look, will look at playing a different sort of team. I've got some ideas of how we want to play against Italy and I want to change it up a bit. I want to actually play a different sort of game against them. It's a great chance for us to do something a bit different. Um, so, yes, there could be some selection changes. But not because I'm unha unhappy with the guys that played today, because I want to keep developing the team. Eddie, was the 40 minutes after you spoke about, was that your team dropping off? Was that Wales coming back into so, it? Just say it again, sorry. 40 minutes slump you talked about. Uh, well... A little bit of both. You know, we, we struggled to get out of our own half effectively. Um, and Wales played well. 
you know, you got to give a lot of credit to Wales. They played well. That's the best I've seen them play. Yeah, you know, it was only in the second half that we started to get our line speed better and make them make mistakes. Yeah, you know, first half they had almost a flawless attack. Yeah, you know, they kept the possession for long periods of time and and were and it was difficult to get the ball off them. Were you surprised that Wales uh, turned down a couple of potential shots at goal in that first half? Ah, uh, well, that's the way they wanted to play. You know, it's not for me to to make judgment on what Wales do. You know, I've got enough to worry about without worrying about Wales. Ah, uh, well, that wasn't one that came to mind. But seeing you said it, I'll have a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, what did you make of the finish from Elliot Daly? Because obviously it was critical, wasn't it, to get that down? Yeah, look, uh, he's got gas, the boy. Yeah, you know, and, and he's got a bit of X factor about him, and that's why we like him. Um, yeah, you know, I don't necessarily think wings his best position, but it suits us at the moment. And uh, yeah, you got to you got to be running over ten metres per per second to score that try he did today, and he can do that. And we saw that same gas to stop a potential bigger interception. Yeah, and I think he might get a run for Manchester United with his uh, kick out. That was a pretty good tackle. Uh, yeah, no, he he did really well for us today. And again, you know, it's a development of the side. We've got him coming through. Yeah, it looks like we'll have Anthony Watson back next week, which is fantastic. Um, so, yeah, we're slowly, slowly getting a little bit stronger. Yeah, you, said you, Wales, that. Sorry. you said Wales were flawless in attack at times. Did they play differently to how you expected them? Uh, not really, but I th thought they executed well. Um, you know, the halfback's a handful, he's a strong little bugger, uh, runs well. You know, and their forwards carried well today, um, carried hard, and then they used the ball on the outside pretty well. N not any different than we thought, but I thought they played very well. Were you surprised that Ross Moriarty was subbed off as early as he was because of the bat stage? He was probably causing more problems than anyone else. I, I think I answered the question before. I've got enough to worry about without worrying about Wales substitutions. No, 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 no. We'll be working hard, mate. Working hard. Uh, we've got a camp in central London. So we'll mix it up. We've got two hard sessions for Tuesday and Friday. I think we've got an open session on Friday at Twickenham. So please come along and watch. Um, and then in between Tuesday and Friday, the boys will have a few different activities. So we've got a few different things planned for them. Did everyone come through on skate? Uh, well, I was just saying, Courtney Laws looks like he's a human ice pack. You know, he's got ice on every part of his body. Uh, we're, we're battered and bruised. You know, we had a few guys going into the game that weren't absolutely 100%. So our medical team's going to be very busy. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we'll do 10 p.m.